Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Why did Yugoslavia collapse? Isn't it just because there are so many different ethnic and national groups in, you know, the Balkan area that it just... Um, because it, it was created after World War I, correct? And it lasted, I'm not sure how long, what, like the 80s or something? Well, we're about to learn. Preemptive like, and I'll let you. Amazing. Original link to the video, top of the description, right below that, link to the Discord. Click on it. Love to have you. My name's Connor, if I didn't say that. Yugoslavia. For many, a long-forgotten, failed nation. For others, an all-too-painful and recent memory. So this was part of the Austrian Empire, I'm guessing, Austro-Hungarian Empire before their collapse after World War One. A once united federation made up of six neighboring republics, Yugoslavia's existence was never a simple one. With constant ethnic and religious division, it seemed that it was only a matter of time before a breakup would be imminent. But was that the only cause of Yugoslavia's collapse? And how did the ethnic disputes actually lead to the destruction of an entire federation? The presence of division and discord between the different ethnic groups within the borders of Yugoslavia had existed for a long while. This was not by any means a new development within the years before the collapse of the federation, but the matter did worsen following World War II. Previously, Yugoslavia had actually been the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. This kingdom was then transformed temporarily into the Democratic Federal Yugoslavia, and shortly after, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Before the expansion of republics and- What is Yugoslavia? Is that, does that translate to like land of Slavs or something like that? ...particular republic of Yugoslavia. Before the expansion of republics and particular ethnic groups within Yugoslavia, Socialist. there was already significant disunity between the Serbs and other ethnic categories, which served as a shaky foundation from the start. While nationalism was a raging problem within the Federation from day one, there was a short stint of partial harmony, thanks to President Josip Broz Tito. Tito was a wonderful promoter of unity and brotherhood, and his efforts to curb the dangerous nationalism within his federation was impressively effective for some time. Moreover, during Tito's term as president, Yugoslavia became a regionally powerful nation industrially and had a well-effective economy. It appeared that the troubles of Yugoslavia were a thing of the past, until... Josip Tito died. Leading up to the president's death, the growing economy had begun to show favor to only some regions within the federation, and though Tito supported brotherhood, it appeared he may have gone too far to support the individual republic's right to national self-determination. The end of Tito's administration also came around the time of economic trouble for the federation as a whole. Wait, what? Brotherhood. It appeared he may have gone too far to support the individual republic's right to national self-determination. Aren't you just like right away just like saying like, yeah, this isn't going to last very long? Like right away, right there? So it's kind of like a United Kingdom deal where like there are like there are different countries in one kingdom the end of tito's administration also came around the time of economic trouble for the federation as a whole yugoslavia was now heavily in debt after the 1973 oil crisis and trade barrier complications with the west which quickly reversed the success that the federation's economy had originally achieved this also exacerbated the ethnic divisions, most notably between the south of the Federation, which was viewed as vastly unproductive and undeveloped, and the entities of Slovenia and Croatia. 
With these new challenges and the death of the president who had worked hard to create unity within the Federation, the ethnic divide was now the center point of Yugoslavia. One of the main causes of this was the fact when they say ethnic differences, were were all were all people in Yugoslavia not you know ethnic Slavs? So wasn't it more cultural, national identity rather than eth ethnic groups? Let me know if I'm wrong. That each republic failed to split along ethnic lines, meaning that there were different groups within each border, and oftentimes each ethnic group was quite nationalistic. Furthermore, there was also the creation of two autonomous provinces within Serbia itself, known as Kosovo and Vojvodina, that complicated matters even more. When protests broke out in the late 1980s, as ethnic Serbs throughout Serbia and the autonomous provinces tried to fight back against particularly the Albanian majority of Kosovo, the thought was that Serbia's communist leader, Slobodan Milosevic, would react by creating some type of unity. Instead, he justified the Serbs' outrage directed at the Albanians and began to push for reduced autonomy of both Kosovo and Vojvodina. Eventually, after a series of protests known as the Rallies of Truth, supporters of Milosevic managed to oust the governments in both autonomous provinces, which then cleared the way for the allies of Milosevic to be put into their places. The leadership of Montenegro was also deposed in 1989 after a second coup d'etat, and there too was placed a supporter of the former ruler. This was only the beginning of the conflict between the Serbs and the Albanians. Croatia and Slovenia were now joining the Kosovo dispute, coming to the support of the Al so Albania is a kind of like uh relic ottoman islamic or n not ottoman or just like that this they're much more islamic than than other uh balkan countries right albanian which makes them even kind of like more there seems to be like levels of of like unity and it seems like albania is like far from we're you now joining I'm the Kosovo dispute, to coming to the support of the Albanian majority, which greatly angered the Serbs. Protests continues to be held, and both police and the Kosovo dispute, coming to the support of the Albanian majority, which greatly angered the Serbs. Protests continues to be held, and both police and military forces were called in to deal with what the Serbs Hold on, I, I missed something. Between the Serb of the after a second coup d'état, and there too was placed a supporter of the former ruler. This was only the beginning of the conflict between the Serbs and the Albanians. Croatia and Slovenia were now joining the Kosovo dispute, coming to the support of the Albanian majority, which greatly angered the Serbs. Protests continues to be held, and both police and military forces were called in to deal with what the Serbs viewed as an attack against Serbia and Yugoslavia as a whole, mostly in reaction to Kosovo's calls to become the seventh republic within the federation. One Bosnian politician and current president of Yugoslavia, Raif Dizdarovic, tried to calm the tensions in 1989 with a heartfelt speech to the Serbian protesters. Our fathers died to create Yugoslavia. We will not go down the road to national conflict. We will take the path of brotherhood and unity. Famous last words, he said. <laughs> Though the protesters reacted to his speech positively, it failed to end the protests, Band-Aid. likely given the facts that the Serbs saw the actions of the Kosovo Albanians as the root of this national conflict. The lines were now clear. It was the Serbs against the Albanians, Croats, Slovenes, and even the leaders of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The conflict was nowhere near over. As the bickering republics aimed to resolve the disputes politically, the divide only seemed to widen and one second guys i'll be right back i, I gotta pee quick okay sorry i washed my hands yugoslavia was forced into a multi-party side only seemed republics aimed to resolve the disputes politically 
The divide only seemed to widen, and Yugoslavia was forced into a multi-party system across all six republics. This was a major blow to the communists in the federation, as most of them were beaten by the end of the 1990 elections. The fall oh, of thought, communism like, physically coincided with the same decline throughout the Soviet Union and its other allies, and pushed the nationalistic identity within the Yugoslav Federation even further. This sparked even more ethnic tension, because there were minorities within each republic. I've been indoctrinated my whole life, I did, and to this day, just whenever I hear communism or socialism or collective or... I just think Satan. Such as the 12 I, I gotta work on that, maybe. 12.2% of Serbs in Croatia that were suddenly being threatened by their home's oppositions to their ethnic identity. In this specific instance, the new Croatian leader Franjo Tudman claimed that he would protect the Croatian people from Milosevic and the Serbian threat, which created backlash from the ethnic Serbs in Croatia. These Serbs established a new separatist organization in which they demanded to be reunified with Serbia in the case of Croatian secession from the Federation. This soon triggered what was nicknamed the Log Revolution, where Serbs in Croatia attempted to take control of the Serbian majority town of Kin and appealed to Question, the- Question, doesn't, it, 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 doesn't Montenegro mean translate to Black Mountains? like Black Mountain. So wouldn't Montenegrins mean like Black Mountainers or like Black Mountains, Black Mountainers? Attempted to take control of the Serbian majority town of Kin and appealed to the federal military for support. When Croatian helicopters filled with the armed special forces were sent in to quell the revolt, the Yugoslav Air Force decided to intervene and ordered the Croatian helicopters to turn back and stay away from Kin, or else they would be shot down. The Croatians followed the command and returned to their base in Zagreb. As tensions continued to boil over, a period known as the Yugoslav Wars broke out in 1991 throughout the Federation. Yo, oh, it was before I was born. The brothers, I was born in 93. I don't know why I thought, um... And are, aren't there, like, doesn't Bosnia today, even, like, over many, like, Afghanistan or, or uh, Middle Eastern countries, isn't, doesn't Bosnia and Herzegovina have more, like, like, landmines than, like, per, like, ah, per square mile or kilometer than any country. I could really be wrong there, but I think it's at least, like, top five. Yugoslavia was now doomed, and the efforts that had been made by dominant Serbia and any other supporters of the Union were now appearing to be completely in vain. In June of that same year, Croatia officially declared their independence, despite disapproval from other republics. This independence was delayed by three months through the Bri Juni Agreement, but was nonetheless imminent. Macedonia declared independence in September You're of wrong. the same Never heard of that. If you're wrong. In year, on January 9th, 1992, the Republic of Serbian People of Bosnia and Herzegovina was founded. Oh. Oh. And Bosnia and Herzegovina as a whole declared independence on March the 3rd. The Serbian Republic within was to follow, after which point they laid siege to the Bosnian capital of Sarajevo, sparking a new stretch of the Yugoslav Wars. All that was now left of the once six republic strong federation was Serbia and Montenegro. Yugoslavia was rapidly dissolving, and there was no hope for recovery. In addition to the ethnic disputes and now full-blown wars, the effects of communism collapsing and the struggling Yugoslav economy had also contributed to the decay of the Federation. Still, no factor seemed quite as obvious nor relevant as the ethnic divide. This is what led- The ethnic divide? How ethnically diverse is- are the Balkans? Like, are, are, are they not all, like, Slavo-European 
or like you know the you know t you have Turkish, you have Slavic, you have the Turks, the Slavs, Albanians, um, maybe. I mean, I was about to say maybe people in Slovenia don't consider themselves Slavs, but it, it's, well, it's not Slovenia, it's Slovenia. Hmm. Adds to the utter chaos within the dying union and what would eventually cause the official dissolution of Yugoslavia, now only made up of Serbia and Montenegro on February 4th, 2003. The Federation transformed into the State Union of Serbia and Montenegro, which was no more successful or stable than its predecessor, and itself broke up on June 3rd. I was going to say Serbia looks like a microcosm of Yugoslavia within Yugoslavia. It's like Yugoslavia all divided all these like uh, uh, nationalist groups, and then one of which, yeah, and then within Serbia, with it, with, which is within Yugoslavia, there's the same situation. 2006. As far as the conflict with Kosovo... Sorry to pause again, but... I will say sorry here. But look at, like, how much of a... Like, look at how Italy just has to have this little part here. I'm sure America has a lot of little weird things. But, um, like, Slovenia almost doesn't have a coastline. It has a little one right here. But, uh, not here. Maybe those are not ethnic Slovenians, but Italians. And then Croatia doing the same thing, just like Bosnia. Like, having a coastline is such a big deal for a country. Uh, just to have a port for commerce and, and military purposes. And Croatia is, like, even worse than Italy. And, like, oh, we're here, and Bosnia wants a coastline. And it's like, and we're just going to take all of this. What the hell, man? All right, we'll give you right here. Broke up on June 3rd, 2006. As far as the conflict with Kosovo, its autonomy and status as an independent nation continues to be debated throughout the world. Many countries, such as the United States, do recognize Kosovo as its own nation, but Serbia and its close allies beg to differ, a sign that the ethnic conflict sadly did not disappear with the dissolution of Yugoslavia it's itself. Its own, it's Each its own country individual now, though, nation right? had its own strong national identity. So is that like the federal U Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia? But usually words like of, and, is, it, whatever, aren't included in, what are these called? Acronym, or whatever. So, and the inability to properly place borderlines to separate each ethnic groups proved to be an untamable issue for all of Yugoslavia. In the former Yugoslavia, Croatian and Serbian were considered one language, also called Serbo-Croatian and Serbo-Croat. Today, largely because of the connection between language and national identity, there has been an effort to have Serbian and Croatian recognized as separate languages. There are certain differences between the two languages in vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation. Moreover, they have separate writing systems. Serbian uses both the Cyrillic Cyrillic and the Roman alphabets, while Croatian uses the Roman alphabet exclusively. The two languages remain mutually intelligible with only minor dialectal variation. For that reason, some linguists refer to the two languages together with Bosnian under the single name of Bosnian Croatian Serbian. While the economic and political challenges that the Federation faced. Wouldn't that be like calling. Like, like saying, like, Danish, Norwegian, Swedish, since they're all kind of similar? We're clear or is that a dumb statement by me? Exacerbating forces pushing towards a final collapse, it was truly the ethnic division and the lack of brotherhood that destroyed Yugoslavia from the inside out. Awesome channel from, our uh, awesome channel. An awesome video from Nalegia. Um, look at all these islands, that's cool. I wonder if they're connected by bridge nowadays. Some of them, I'm, I'm sure, are ferry services. But, um, oh my god, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, my, my biggest uh, confusion is, is the ethnic uh, part. In that... 
ethnic groups. So ethnicity means is a genetic term, correct? Like culture isn't a genetic term. Um, society, civilization, community, whatever. But but ethnicity is a genetic term, correct? Am I right there? And so, what makes one ethnicity separate from another? Like, are Irish people ethnically different than English people, who are ethnically different than Scottish people or Welsh people? Are are Peruvians ethnically different than people from Ecuador or Belize or uh, Western Brazil? I mean, so eth the the ethnic term, the term ethnic ethnicity, you know, is is a bit confusing because I mean, what makes ethnic Croatians different from ethnic Serbians different from ethnic Montenegrins different from ethnic Bosnians or, you know, Herzegovinian, Bosnia, and just, and so that, that confused me a bit, but awesome video as always. Have I seen this one? As the Iron Curtain fell over a dozen... Cool. I, I always like the video preemptively, so I haven't seen it. Elon Musk is live right now? A system where, you know, the potential... For oh, he's the Twitter guy, right? They can verify Elon, and then I'm not sure who they are. You don't have to trust it at all. You can verify it. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's is that the Cheryl Sandberg, like Facebook and appetite is. Uh, I don't know why I'm going into this. I'd like to watch this next though. Hope you guys are all doing well. Chin up, you'll be good soon. Don't worry. Uh, the repetitive nature of those of me saying that at the end of the, of every video makes it makes me feel like it's it's going i know it's going to seem less genuine each time i say it um you know it, it's just kind of but i i really do mean it guys um when it comes to mental health it's always the thing that i've eventually wanted to tackle it's kind of one of it's it's that thing that i care about a lot and it, and i'm i'm excited in the future to to do something with youtube uh, or on a youtube channel about it about mental health and I really do mean it. I know it's repetitive. I use the same words, but I, I care that anyone subscribing or watching my, uh, subscribing to my channel or watching my videos that you guys are, are doing okay. If you're not, don't worry. Emotions are fickle. Always remember that. Don't, don't do anything brash in the moment. See you guys next time. Bye.